everybody, it's Rachel from Garden for Cheap. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I've been building an arbor out of bamboo. I started building it about 13 days ago. Well, about a weekend, I decided I wanted to sand it down and try the shishigi band method on it. That's where you take a torch and burn it and roll it down and see how it looked. And I loved it so much, I knew I had to tear it down and do it to every pole and then put it back together and it just blows my mind on how good it looks it's so pretty <laughs> uh, I hope you guys think so too but uh, I still want to put the string in it, it's it's catfish twine kind of like what you would make a uh, trout line with 250 pound test it's got a wax coating I used it to to tie the top together like a lattice and I want to to string in the side and the top and the other side so vines can easily grow up and over but you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute but I'm so excited it came out so well and I, it, it just blows my mind that I did this and if I can do it you can do it too you just got to get creative with what you got and Luckily, I got the bamboo poles from the Broussards, which their link is down below. And I had most of the screws, but I bought some screws. I bought the twine. I think I spent nine bucks on this at Walmart, and I haven't even put a dent in it. Uh, I got me some cute little garden gnomes. <laughs> but I got a few little odds and ends that I did spend money on, but not a whole lot. For the way it looks, you think I'd spend a fortune, but I really didn't. It's just a lot of hard work and and, and sanding and, and tears and sweat and long hours, but every bit of it was worth it. And instead of me just bumping my gums, let's go take a look at it and see what you think. <clears throat> Y'all ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this, but let's do it anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Check it out. Isn't she beautiful? I got I painted the, the bricks black and got two little garden gnomes. I have lanterns on every corner. The back corner is black because they only had three. They were blue and the other one was black, but you know, Dollar General sell you do what you can. And there's my sign. Gnome country. It's starting to sprinkle, so I need to hurry up and get done. But I wanted to get a shot of it. At the uh, end of this video, I'll throw in what it looks like at night when the lights, because I got twinkly lights. I don't know if you can see them. Right there, I got twinkly lights. But I got all my supports. Some of the bamboo wasn't long enough, so I had to splice two together and I just tied them real tight and screwed them in. They're not going anywhere but it makes it go all the way across. I'm still going to take half fish twine like you use to make uh, trout lines going across the top to make the square smaller and I'm going to run it up the side like right here I've already started. I got them going from string from there to there and I'm going to go across this way but I might put them more in through that way and they're tied up there and I'm going to do that all the way across. And I'm going to do this side too, but I'm just not going to do it until fall when the peppers are out. But try to get a good shot of one of these corners. Lighting isn't very great, but it's starting to rain, that's why. There we go. Maybe the, see how it's tied. Every, every little square you see through here is tied. And the ends are screwed, but... Like, even that one's tied. But yep, I think she came out really good. I think she's beautiful. What do you guys think? All that hard work worth it? I think so. Can't wait to see her next year with the sides and everything grown full. I think it's going to be beautiful. I love that sign, the gnome country. 
<clears throat> or gnome country. Well, I hope you all like that. I mean, I'm truly blown away by it. I love it. I ended up using a mineral oil to oil it down with because it was food grade, it was cheap. I think I, I got a, a bottle of it for $1.98 like that. And one bottle did the whole, the whole thing, the whole arbor. And it was food grade, so I figured it was more safe for the vines and stuff to grow up. I know I can't wait till next growing season and watch it grow up. I'm gonna, when I get this box filled, hopefully within the next week or so, I'm gonna plant cucumelons and stuff, maybe some sweet potato vines. Something that grows fast, and, but I know there's no way it's gonna fill out before the first frost. Well, I say that, but highly unlikely. So I just can't wait till next year. <laughs> but there's a few other things I wanted to do to the garden you know more decorations because I've really gotten into a decorating garden thing that that just so much fun but the arbor it's just yeah I can't believe how well it turned out well, if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do and don't forget to hit the little bell notification ding 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 so you don't mix my next video and I hope you all have a great day God bless and peace Like a bird on a tree